ability to keep our composure in tight situations. And, and it's, it's the players executing when, it, when they need to. And, uh, you know, it's like I said all year long, we, we've kind of embraced the success and our team's learning how to play, um, you know, with, with a target on our back, so to speak. And we keep continuing to uh, play good softball. Coach Trevor Gross from CUTigers.com. Uh, Valerie Cagle pitched three days in a row. I, I should say she started three games in a row uh, just once this season, a little over a month ago against North Carolina. Will you consider starting her tomorrow? Yeah, no question. I think, you know, fast pitch softball, pitching three games in a row is not that big of a deal. Um, certainly, you know, we'll keep an eye on Valerie and see how she's feeling tomorrow. We, we have complete confidence in our pitching staff, so not afraid to go with Millie or Reagan either, but – you know, Valerie's on a roll right now. She's well rested, um, you know, and, and she's she's really pitched well in the last two ball games. I mean, there's been a couple of stressful innings, but um, she's pitched well. And I think she's just getting back into her groove after taking some time off there for finals week. And and, uh, you know, so we'll we'll make that decision tomorrow morning, but uh, feel confident that Valerie is able to go tomorrow. And and also that that the other two pitchers, Millie and Reagan, will be ready if we need them. Coach, hey, Coach Zach Wagner with Tiger Net. Uh, what did Coach Jamison go out and uh, tell Valerie in that first inning and kind of got her mojo back going? Well, I think the biggest thing, I, I don't know exactly what was said, but we had talked about, hey, go out and settle them down. So I'm sure Coach Jamison went out there and talked to Valerie and, and told her she's been in these situations before and probably talked to the defense a little bit. But uh, I think the biggest um, factor was, was just let our team know that we've been in these situations before and they're capable of, of getting out of these jams. And, you know, when, when Valerie's in the circle, she's, she's got the stuff to, to do that. And, uh, you know, you probably asked Valerie what she said, but the biggest thing was just settling everybody down. How big was that first inning getting out of that jam, just from a momentum standpoint for your team? Getting out of the jam in the first inning is always huge. You know, I think it, it turns the tides a little bit. Um, Typically, good pitchers, you know, if you're going to get them, you, it, it's usually early in the game. And, and uh, you know, I think Valerie just had to get in rhythm. They have great speed. Their, their top two hitters are phenomenal slappers. And, you know, Valerie made a, a great pitch to the leadoff kid. She just put the ball in the play, and, and it bounced high, and there's nothing we could do about it. You know, the next kid walked, and, and then, you know, she's got to go back and pitch and do her job. And she did an awesome, awesome job there at the first inning to get us out of that jam. Coach, the uh, squeeze play in the in the second inning with the Matamore, was that uh, pretty much a no-brainer for you, or, or did you figure you had to take a, a chance or two with a pitcher like Rashard on the mound or in the circle? Yeah, no, no question. You try to take advantage of any opportunities you get early in the game to try to score runs um, against a very good pitcher in Rashard. So, like I said, we talked to our team about being better at situational hitting. Um, Logaleo drew the walk. Uh Stole second. Cammy moved her with a with a great job of hitting, hitting the ball to the right side to get her at third, less than two outs. And then Grace executed the squeeze, you know. So um, that's that's big for our team. It gives us momentum, takes a little pressure off of everybody, and and lets us play a little freer. How's it feel for you to be able to play in the ACC championship game tomorrow after you know never really getting to experience uh, conference tournament softball before? I'm so proud of our coaches and our team and our staff. Everybody is, is just very proud of the way we played and competed all year long. We're a fun group to watch and, and just excited for the opportunity to represent Clemson for the ACC championship tomorrow. Coach, you'll, uh, you'll either get Florida State or Duke. How big is it to have those uh, split that series with Duke earlier in the year, kind of get a feel for them? And then uh, if Florida State wins, it'll be the first ever matchup with them in program history. Yeah, you know, we're, we're, we're excited and we'll be ready for whoever we play tomorrow. You know, certainly both of those programs are, are, are great and, uh, you know, they're, they're complete. They have good pitching. They play good defense. They hit the ball. Florida State's been, you know, they've got the experience. They've been in big games. Duke is a young program like us, but, but very good. Um, great series we had with them earlier in the year. So uh, I know it'll be a great game tomorrow and we're just looking forward to represent uh, Clemson and, and play for a championship. Any other um, questions, Coach Rittman? Coach, um, how, how rare is what Valerie is doing um, as a two-way player in, in at the college level? I know you coached against uh, Jenny Finch when she was at Arizona National Player of the Year. 
and and I believe you also coached her for USA softball. Um, but but is she having that kind of a season? And and how rare is it for not only a, uh, what she's doing as a two way player, but as a freshman? Well, I definitely think it's it's uncommon, especially for a freshman to come in and pitch the way Valerie's pitched and and hit the ball the way she's um, hit. Um, but you know, Valerie is is a uh, you know she's a five tool player. She's a gifted softball player and pitcher. And um, you know, certainly if you look at you know at the history of the game, there's there's been a few that have done it at a high level of both. And, and Valerie can certainly be in that category um, with those. And and she's only a freshman, so she's only going to get better. Coach Jim Moore in his post-game press conference said that Valerie's an All-America type pitcher and a World Series type pitcher. What would you say to uh, the members of those committees that are making decisions on All-America awards about your pitcher? I, th I think, you know, certainly Valerie's numbers back up, um, you know, her opportunity to be, you know, in, in the running for All-American. Um, you know, I think she's very deserving, obviously, as her coach. You know, we got to see her play all year long, and she's put up the numbers. So I'm um, very deserving and, and uh, very proud of Valerie. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. All right. And we're going to open it uh, right up to questions for Valerie.